Hey everyone, Matt Straup here with the Roto World basketball crew. We got Tommy Beer, Ryan Knaus, Steve Alexander. Guys, we all know Zion Williamson is going to be the top rookie off the board in fantasy leagues. He's going to go early in drafts. He's a guy you're going to have to spend a premium pick on. Let's take a look, though, beyond that. Who are some rookies that you guys are interested in drafting outside of Zion? Well, I like DeAndre Hunter, uh, the Atlanta Hawks. Rookie, they reached, uh, traded up to get him at number four. They're not sleeping on this kid out of U- University of Virginia. Um, they ran a real slow pace last year, and he put up pretty good numbers for, for coming out of an offense that, that really wasn't built for him. I think the Hawks are going to plug him right in at small forward. His competition is what, DeAndre Bembry, another DeAndre. Um, he averaged, what, 15 15, 5, and 2 assists at Virginia. I think he can do that in his rookie year for the Hawks. I think he's a sleeper for a r- rookie of the year. I noticed that you slipped in. They reached. Did you hear Steve say they reached? I mean, they, they traded up to get him. <laughs> yeah, Hunter's going from a really slow-paced team to a fast-paced team. So I'm intrigued by him. He's a guy I've seen going really late in mock drafts. Yeah. I'm going to go a little deeper, you know, leave some of the more obvious guys for you to pick off. And I'm going to take Rui Hachimura, who was a surprise during the draft itself and maybe surprised to you that I would suggest him. But he was the number nine pick. The Wizards obviously love him. If you look at their depth chart, there's no reason this guy shouldn't start at power forward, probably on opening night. Uh, he shot 41.7% from deep as a junior. So that's huge. If he can spread the court, you put him alongside Thomas Bryant, who they've also allowed to shoot some threes. Suddenly you have a viable front court in today's NBA. Uh, he just came off the experience of being the best player for Japan's national team. So I like that he's a little more experienced. Three-year college guy, 22 years old. The team's going to play him right away. A bad team might as well develop him. So I'm going to take opportunity over maybe sheer upside there. That's a deep cut. I mean, I, I guess my only concern, I do think Hachimura's intriguing. Davis Bertans is there, compete, you know, a veteran guy, great outside shooter. Maybe he's not guaranteed to start. That would be my only concern. I do think the Wizards are kind of a land of opportunity in yeah, fantasy right. this year. Ryan, do you have a... Washington Wizards bed sheet on your bed at home? <laughs> you know, I'm not a Wizards fan. I'm S- Sonics all the way. I don't exist. Um, as far as rookies, I am, to be honest, I'm shocked that R.J. Barrett is kind of, you know, getting short shrift, barely meant, it seems, um, heading into the fantasy season. I've seen some mocks. I've, I've partaken in some drafts. I've seen R.J. Barrett. Um, you see the numbers he put up at Duke. Um, it should be noted, that, you know, the points, rebounds, assists, and seals. Uh, he is the first player in the history of NCAA to average more than 22 points, seven rebounds, four assists, and one three-pointer. Um, this kid, no matter where he's been, has been a superstar. High school, won a national championship, uh, excelled uh, in, in, in the international competition for Team Canada. Um, we saw him in in uh, July in the Las Vegas Summer League. Obviously, field goal percentage is going to be an issue. Uh, turnovers as well. Um, but uh, another thing of note, he averaged. He's the first player in the history of the Summer League to average more than 15 points, eight boards, and more than four, four assists per contest. I understand that there's a lot of competition for minutes in New York. Um, that being said, this is a rebuilding team. They're going to compete right away. But they realize that they drafted this kid number three overall. He's kind of the future, the foundation of the franchise. I expect him to get plenty of opportunity, plenty of minutes. And again, this wherever he's been, wherever he's played, he's put up big numbers, and I expect him to do that right out of the gate. I think you can almost put him kind of in the category of Luka Doncic, what we saw from him last year, and I mean that in a good and bad way, like points, rebounds, assists, steals, threes, Barrett can do all that. I worry about his percentages and turnovers. Free throw percentage, too, is a little shaky at Duke. Uh, yeah. Agreed. The, 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 the three-point percentage and the free throw percentage, are. he needs to be able to improve upon those. Um, and the, the Doncic, he's not going to be the focal point of the offense and have the green light the same way Luka did. Um, but again, they have enough scoring um, you know, options around him where I think the floor is going to be spread a little bit more. Um, he can play some point. We saw him do that in, in, in Las Vegas. Um, so I really like his versatility. They're going to want him out on the floor. Um, decent defender, um, can guard multiple positions. So I, get anything. I think he's going to earn minutes. Um, I really like his upside. And again, I think, you know, in terms of value, he could finish the year very close to John Morant. Um, and he's going two, three, four rounds later. Um, I'd much rather have Barry in that situation. Speaking of John Morant, so Zion will be the consensus first rookie off the board. I'll throw it out there. It wouldn't surprise me, and maybe this is a hot take, if Morant had a better fantasy season than Zion Williamson does. John Morant, this is a guy who at Murray State as a sophomore last year, 24 points, 6 rebounds, 10 assists. First player in college hoops history to average 20 points and 10 dimes. He gets steals, he gets blocks, yeah. he gets threes, good percentages, horrendous turnovers. But that's a category I'm fine to punt from the get-go. He makes up for that with, with the dunks, though, right? <laughs> I know, but, that, but that's part of it for me. Like I think he's going to be able to shoot 
a good percentage of the NBA because he can get to the rim and yeah. he's explosive. Tommy, you look, you look skeptical. I'm, I'm, I'm worried it's slight. You know, 175, 180 pounds maybe. You know, Allen Iverson's the, 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 the anomaly when it comes to the guy being able to stay healthy. Teams are going to run him through picks, make him run over screens, really punish him. Um, you know, a small frame, that concerns me. He's also going from the competition at Murray State is a little bit different than, than the NBA. I think I just heard you compare Morant to Allen Iverson, though, and I'll take that. I'll but take that. I, I wouldn't go as far as you on uh, Ja having a better fantasy season than Zion, but I do think for sure he's the second rookie off the board for me. Uh, R.J. Barrett, Tommy's enthusiasm is selling me on him a little bit. Um, but, yeah, I think Ja's set up for a perfect year. When the Grizzlies traded Mike Conley, they basically just handed the keys to the car to Ja Morant and said, go. So, yes, you know, durability might be a concern, but for, for a young guy, I mean, they had the same concerns about Trey Young last True. year. Good and point. he played big minutes in 82 games. So Speaking of durability, is anybody here worried about how big Zion Williamson is? Is, is, is weight going to be an issue for him, or is he good to go? I am shying away. I will not draft Zion Williams. I'm not willing to spend a second round pick, whatever, even third round is it's questionable, and he's not going to be there. So I am off the, the Zion bandwagon. All right, thank you, gentlemen. Do you think what you have, that you have, what it takes to be our experts? Well, now's your chance to prove it. We will be conducting our first ever live NBA fantasy draft on October 3rd, and eight lucky draft guide users will be selected to compete against for Roto World and Yahoo experts. And this is not just a mock, we will be playing out the league. All you have to do to be eligible is purchase a draft guide, and the more products you buy, the more chances you have to be selected. Go to rotoworld.com slash dominate NBA to check out our products.